In this tutorial, we are going to discuss 3D object representation methods. So, what are different 3D object representation methods available to represent the objects? Now, we know that there are different objects in the world. That is, nothing but trees, mountains, home, human hair, or human hair, geometrical shape, cloud, vehicles, etc. So, all the objects cannot be described by one single representation. And so, there are to represent those objects we want various methods so that is called as 3d object representation methods so 3d object representation methods are polygon tables polygon equations sweep representation constructive solid geometry chord tree arc tree and fractals now first is polygon tables so in this uh, particular method the object is represented by a series of tables containing vertices, edges and surfaces. Now see, this is suppose uh, the, uh, 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 this is, those are the polygons and that representing some object. So that first of all, first table will indicate vertice, vertices, second will be edge and third will be surface. So suppose V1, so V1 having the coordinates, so vertice table, V1 is represented as X1, Y1, Z1, V2 is X2, Y2, Z2, V3 is X2, Y3, Z3. Now, next table is contains edges so e1 which is nothing but v1 and v2 so v1 v2 and last it is surface table so in e suppose this is the surface so e1 e2 e3 e4 made the surface one so that surface it entered into the surface table next method of representing the objects are polygon equations suppose there are the polygons and the polygon can be represented by equation ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0 so that is the second method of representing the 3d objects next method of representing the 3d object is sweep representation in sweep representation we have to take 2d shape or 2d object and using translational or rotational symmetry we can draw 3d object example is suppose cylinder is drawn here cylinder is drawn with the circle or translational sweep another example is you can take circle and using rotational sweep you can draw the torus, the shape like a torus. So that from using 2D object, we are creating 3D object with the help of symmetry. Next method of representing 3D object is constructive solid geometry. In this, you have to take 3D basic objects like cube, cylinder, sphere, and using various set operations like union, difference, or intersection, you can draw 3D object. So here, this this is nothing but pyramid and the cube. So you can use the uh, uh, you can use the union operation to create this image, and this new image also can be used for further 3D object representations. Next method of representing 3D objects are chord tree. So in chord tree, the it is chord tree is for two dimensional uh, representation. So the two dimensional space it is divided into four equal parts, and based on that division you can uh, represent this as a tree structure. So chord tree. Suppose I want to display this one, so it means it means you are dividing this into 1, 2, 3 and 4th part. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So out of 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So that is 4. This is displayed. So it is nothing but representation called as octree. Then next is octree representation. It is used for 3D object representation or 3D representation. So same concept of octree. Uh, it is extended for the octree. So in octree, the whole space it is divided into 8 parts because it is cube. So this is 1, 4, 5, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, backward is 8. So here 5th part is displayed. So first 5th is black. Now in this particular volume, 1, 2, so 2nd is displayed. So it is nothing but octree representation.